The Community Grimmer Build series is supported by SB Fabrication and Parts, CETE Parts, Old Time Parts, Motec Machining and Cylinder Mowers, Brisbane Cylinder Mower Specialist, Real Mower Solutions WA, Design at Dusk, and Scott Bonner Restorations. Oh yeah, baby! Yeah! Wow! Oh yeah! Catches, reflectors, edge covers, all time parts. Yeah, good day, Jason. It's Michael from Love Land. Hey, I was just checking out your website, mate. It looks like you're selling some real sweet catches and grass deflectors. Impressive! So yeah, we're doing this grooming project, mate. I'd love to see some of your kit on the machine. Everyone speaks so highly of your quality workmanship and top-notch customer service. Really? It's on the way already? Great! Old Town Parts, how do you get here so quickly? And the knife. We'll need that. All right. Thank you to Jason from Old Time Parts for sending this along. Jason very generously offered to sponsor the Community Groomer Build series, and I am dying to show you what's in this box. But before we do that, let's have a look at what's in the envelope. This is from Design at Dusk, Chris over at Design at Dusk, and they've also um, sent me along a Old Time Parts t-shirt, so thanks guys for that. Looks like it'll fit. So stylish. Thanks again, Chris and Rebecca from Design at Dusk. If you're interested in getting hold of your own catcher or deflector, stick around until the end of the video because I've got a really cool promotion to share with you, courtesy of All Time Parts, running through the month of September. We'll get into more of the details about that at the end of the video. So the mower that we purchased for the Grimmer conversion project didn't include a catcher, and that's fine. Judging by the condition of this mower, if it had included a catcher, it probably would have been in pretty poor condition as well. And to be honest, at the best of times, catchers cop a fair bit of abuse, you know, just in terms of dents and dings being driven into things. And, you know, they also tend to rust out and that sort of thing. I also made the mistake of not really addressing some of the dents in the catcher that I did for the last 14 inch mower. Under the, the hammer tone powder coat, every one of those little bumps and lumps really shows through. It just catches the light and it's just, you know, it shows that you know, a step has been missed in the rebuild of that particular mode. You know, that was a little bit disappointing and I wish I'd gone to the effort to have had that um, professionally addressed. Panel beading is not my forte and you have to also be careful about which sort of fillers you're using under a powder coat finish if you're going that way. So it'll be nice to start from a clean slate on this project. This catcher is manufactured right here in Australia over in Brisbane by the team at Old Time Parts, Jason and Dennis. And they have an outstanding reputation for workmanship and customer service. So let's get stuck in. So let's see. First of all, this has been shipped to me by TransDirect from Couriers Please, one of the two. Not sure I had tracking codes from both companies. Obviously, it's come by Courier, not Australia Post, which is the only thing I wanted to point out. And it says here that the weight on it is 10 kilos. I believe the catcher itself is about 8. Magnets. Looks better already. Man, this thing is beautiful. So we've obviously got the catcher itself, and inside is an extra special treat. 14 inch grass deflector as well. Hooly <laughs> dooly. Obviously the first thing that I'm noticing here are these fantastic sides. This is the catcher with the period correct sides. So originally the side panels of your Scott Bonner mower would have been um, stamped um, or pressed to um, achieve that sort of that look. In this case there's an extra panel which has been attached to the flat side of the catcher and chamfered along the edges so that it basically disappears under whatever paintwork you're putting on here. And it's just absolutely beautiful. So the, the story goes, at least as I've heard it told by a fellow whose first name starts with a G, is that George at SB Fabrication Parts suggested this approach to Jason and Dennis. Um, and you know, here we are with the, with the end result. Obviously it's been being made by old time parts. 
So these catchers are made from a galvanized steel, which means that they're not going to corrode anytime soon, which is great. The last thing you want is a catcher full of holes, because that sort of defeats the purpose. And I reckon they're also significantly heavier than the originals, or at least the the catcher that I've got on my 14 inch at the moment. And in my opinion, that's a good thing. The more weight that you've got on these mowers, especially when you're mowing low, the better off you're going to be um, just in terms of your quality of cut. I'm also noticing the seams on this edge here. They look great. So I believe this is called a rolled seam or a Pittsburgh seam. And you know, I don't know how the guys do it, but yeah, they're very, very nicely, nicely made. And this is why I asked Jason from All Time Parts to get involved with this project, because I want to share with you guys the very best of the best when it comes to aftermarket parts for your rebuild. When you do a project with kit like this, you're arguably going to end up with a result that's better than the original, at least in my opinion. Let's turn it around. I'll show you the insides. Yeah, it's a catcher, but it's one hell of a catcher. So the steelwork that they've used here is very nicely cut and obviously adds quite a bit of reinforcement to the to the catcher itself. And it wraps all the way around the outer perimeter of this um, of this box basically. So just taking a look at this grass deflector. So I believe this is made from a zinc anneal rather than the galvanized steel. It's definitely got a bit of weight to it and it looks very beautifully made. And it's got a nice little little lip to it. Everything's where it should be in terms of your little legs and clips. And it looks nice and tidy, which is a bonus. No holes or rust. This is a catcher for a 14-inch Scott Bonner 45. Old Time Parts also manufactures catchers for 17-inch and 20-inch machines with the period correct sides or the plain catcher sides. In addition, they do catchers for the Model 33, the Model 65, the Rover Thoroughbred 16, and the Super Cup. And this is our deflector for the 14-inch machine. They do the same again in 17-inch and 20-inch variants for the Scotty 45, as well as a deflector for the Model 33. They also do edger covers for the Model 38 edger. The guys can also powder coat your order before it's shipped and they ship Australia-wide. As well, they do custom one-off builds on request. So if you like the look of this catcher as much as I do, and I think you ought to, Old Time Parts are running a special through the month of September in conjunction with the channel. If you're after a catcher with the period correct sides and a deflector, the price is $340 delivered, or if you're after a catcher with plain sides and a deflector, the price is $260 delivered. Again, that's through the month of September. Just mention that you're a viewer of the channel when ordering. Also, if you like my tea, you can order one of these directly from Chris at Design at Dusk. That's designatdusk.com.au. So get on it, guys, and good luck with your own builds. If you're following along at home, don't forget to post your own progress pics on Facebook. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for updates as new videos are released. Huge thanks again to Old Time Parts for sponsoring this catcher and deflector and helping to make this groomer build a reality. Don't forget you can check them out at oldtimeparts.com.au. We'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.